Hey everyone, we are actually going back to the Pinnacle Overlook here on the Cumberland Gap. And I figured this time I'll go ahead and record this road with full self driving. Mommy can give you a commentary too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. It does okay. That's pretty good, I think. Going up this steep, windy road. It's not the crazy hill test by any means. But it does pretty well considering. It's uh, what day is it? Monday. Monday. It's Monday morning at 10:30. So not gonna have too many people in this road at that time. But there's several hairpin turns on this. But it's not in a way. It's not like that crazy hill test where they're blind turns. You can still get around around it and not expect like a truck or something is gonna come around. And, and then you're gonna have to back up on the turn. There's a couple spots like this where the map data is weird. I think it turned to blink around here last time. Yep. Which, as you can tell from the road, there's nowhere. It just needs to go around. And it does. Doesn't need the blinker on then. That steep driveway. Mm -hmm. you, you were off the map, Dad. Yeah. That's that must be the drive that it thinks it's supposed to turn away from. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. But there's no drive on the other end of it. Here's the overlook we were at last time. You can see a lot more today. I didn't try to turn in this parking area last time. Mm, no, I don't think so, but there was some place I tried to turn into. Or did something, I don't remember what. Just over two hours from a hotel in Lexington. You happen to be coming here. It's just over two hours from the Lexington Supercharger. We were hotel was right across the road, and we charged up actually at the hotel. And then, so it's just um, two hour drive. It's 130 miles. So we're passing through all the way to the Newport Charger, Newport, Tennessee, just opened just a couple days ago. So we're gonna gonna be the first time using it. This is like the super bendy hairpin. Mm -hmm. I like that it goes really slow around those corners. <laughs> My mom doesn't like when it dries fast. Not on this road. She she likes it driving. She likes it driving better than I drive on this road. There's a motorcycle behind us. I think that's why it's making us go a little bit faster now. You can see him in there. Um, we don't need to go faster. It's because there's somebody behind me. Well, that's what the car does. The car gets pressured by other drivers on the road. Interesting. Oh, this is the super hairpin turn. And I bet he's wondering why the blinker's on. <laughs> He probably doesn't appreciate the slower speed. No. He doesn't get to have fun. Well. We're almost done. We'll see if it parks again. Last time it it pulled into a parking space. Let's we'll see if it does it again. It's like a really narrow entrance right here. It has to avoid the curb. I'm not pressing anything. Gets the one way correct. Nope. Uh, you've got somebody behind you, so. I'm pressing the accelerator. I just parked right here. <laughs> okay. Well, 
that's the end of that. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you on the way down. Wasn't gonna do it, um, but now we're gonna film on the way back down. So it just happens we have deer um, in the middle of the road. Let's see how the car handles this. It wants to go around this car or deer or what? <laughs> Walking right down the road. They're very clearly. Used to people. Turkish stale. Oh, what do you expect? Uh, eating some Bucky's jerky. Okay, don't go on the side of the road. My car doesn't try to pass you. Been cool though if we met the deer. Let's see what would have happened. Whoa! Jeez. What was right there? Nothing but it went off the road. I like it scraped something. Oh, I wonder if it scraped the rear of my hitch. Mm, just scrape it. It's gonna take you. You just went off the regular pavement. Cut it a little bit tight. Shoulder. Turn on the camera, you can see how close it's getting to the edge of the road. Look close. Maybe that was the suspension creaking. There's a few spots you don't want to be that close. Nope. And the car doesn't. The car sees pavement and thinks it's drivable space, which is fine in a cyber truck. This is where it turned off last time. Yeah, it thinks the turn going around is going into that. Yeah. You watch these corners as close as it's cutting. I don't know. That one's so bad, but the one before was really close. Nervous now on the inside corner. That bad. Where are you driving? Are you driving a car? I don't know. I do know the car in front of you is making you go a little slower. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the last time. not press the accelerator you and it'll look like I did. I almost did. For some reason I'm more nervous going down here. You seem to be clipping the sight too close. Didn't do that coming up. Basically the end of this road. So I obviously did did well. What would you rate it, Mom? It did pretty well except for the first corner there. But it actually went went off the road. How many points out of ten? Out of ten? Eight. Eight out of ten. A B. That worked, Tesla. 
Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.